Every garden needs at least one lemon tree, but there are a few things to look out for to ensure that you're getting the most out of yours. Everybody wants a lemon tree, but together with most lemon trees come this problem. And if I'd been given a rand for every question that I was asked on the crinkly leaves, the bubbles on the leaves of my lemon tree, man, I would have been a trillionaire. But let's take a look at what the issue is. So here is typical damage, right? So there's the little bubbles on the leaf that people often ask me. The, the, the problem is not here. The problem is actually on the underside. Now, if we look very carefully, well, I'm seeing nothing there. So there are bubbles, but no little hohos there. But over here, there, you can actually see the little black thing. Now that little guy over there, that little guy over there is called a scylla. Now what happens is the scylla come along, they, they actually winged insects and they'll come along and bed themselves on the new lush yummy green leaves on the underside. They follow through their life cycle, so mate, have their, their young and then they will disappear off to the next tree. Why lemon trees? Because it's their host tree. They are host specific to any citrus which is why, of course, they're going to love your lemon tree. Um, once you've got that, um, if you go to them and you're looking at trying to deal with them and you see there are no little black things underneath, well, then there's actually no need to treat because they've already gone. They've come, they've done their business, they've done their damage. Leave these leaves because your new set of leaves will emerge pretty soon. But the problem is that with this whole thing, other little critters come along to also enjoy the meal. And they are right here. <gasps> and this is quite horrid because when you've got scylla, you're generally going to have aphids. And here are some beautiful black aphids, lovely, sucking out all the nutrition on this beautiful lemon tree. There they are. And when you've got aphids, you're going to have ants. And I can see the ants running up and down here because the ants milk the aphids and they remove something called honeydew. Together with that, you generally get scale and a whole lot of other things, and you could even end up with sooty mold, which is a black-looking substance across the leaf. So guys, all of this is a bit of a disaster, but how do you treat it? It's really simple. You can use an oleum, which is a natural oil. Use oleum early in the morning or late afternoon. Don't spray it during the heat of the day because it is an oil. Okay, so you just spray it on, uh, you dilute it into water, spray it on, do that once or twice, and it literally just smothers the insect. So no secondary damage, no harmful damage um, to you or any other insect that's going to come along, like ladybirds, to try and munch on these aphids. And that's it, guys. It happens, but deal with it appropriately and soonest so that you don't end up with crinkly leaves like my lemon tree did.